Hey everyone, Ken Surfs here, and happy Halloween. Well, I got the Halloween costume going. What do you think? Magnum PI, probably don't need the sunglasses. But uh, actually, I wore the Detroit hat many times. If you see me on Facebook on some of my photographs, you'll see that I often wear the Detroit Tigers cap. But uh, I think I will leave the cap on for the shave, but uh, I'm probably going to take off the Magnum shirt because I do not want to get uh, shave cream all over that. So hang on a second. Let me take this off. Put the shades down here. You guys having a Halloween party where you're at? Got the uh, young ones going out trick-or-treating or coming around trick-or-treating? Let's see. Put this back on. I usually wear the uh, Michael Myers Halloween mask and sit out front and scare the hell out of the kids. We have the fog machine and everything, but uh, I don't know what my wife is going to do tonight. We're going to have to see when she gets home what the plans are. All right. Any objections to leaving the cap on? It's the Magnum PI shave after all. All right. We've got a couple of new products today to try out. And I'm actually uh, going to mix a few because... Uh, I've got a, a, some new soaps that came from Victory Shaving. And you know I've done a lot of shaves with Victory Shaving. Robert's a great guy. And they, they theme all of their shave soaps after World War II bombers. And uh, I've got Night Raid that just arrived in the mail call and Flak Bait. And I've smelled them both and both smell great. But we're going to be using Flak Bait today because this is black cherry, whatever we got, black cherry, rum, and smoke. And, oh, man. I can really, really, really smell the black cherry in that. So we are going to be using that for the soap today. Now, you saw me the other day uh, show a uh, package that arrived from Teague Hanley. And Teague Hanley is uh, a complete men's grooming uh they have complete men's grooming products. And they actually, in this kit, had a lot of products. Uh, what do we have? We have Super Serum. We have, uh, for your eyes, under your eyes, stop the wrinkles. Look, I've got it. You know, too much sun. We have PM Face Moisturizer. We have Face Scrub. But I asked them, I said, hey, what can I use uh, in my shaves to help with my shaves? And they said two of the products that come in this kit and I believe they are for sale individually too, are the uh, daily face wash, which they say can be used as a pre-shave and it really helps with your shave. So I'm gonna be using that today. And they said for an aftershave, of all things, I would've thought it was gonna be the PM, but it's the AM uh, Morning Facial Moisturizer. And they say this makes a great aftershave. But since it's Kind of a neutral scent. I am going to be using uh, with that as a cologne some Eternity Now. So uh, we're going to be using that today. Oh, all right. I think I've got most of the stuff set up. You know, I am going to take the hat off. All right. We'll take that hat off because I know I'm going to get soap all over. So I'm going to use some of the, uh, the daily wash first. All right, I'm gonna put some in my hand. Very pleasant smelling, man. Very pleasant smelling. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, and I've got the stubble from a few days from that uh, last using the uh, Mula R41. Got the mustache coming in good. Fact, tomorrow starts Movember, so this will be the last time I'm shaving off the goatee. I'm going to leave that face wash on and not rinse it off because, yeah, after all, it is a pre-shave. So I want that hair to, whoops, come on, man, let's get that uh, auto exposure. I want that hair to get saturated. Now I'm going to be using the Omega brush today, so it's a bore. Let me soak it in there. And I'm going to take some of the flak bait. Oh, my hands are all wet. 
and I'm going to put some of the flak bait into the captain's choice shave bowl. Get the uh, 50 pence piece out there. Since this is kind of a small four ounce tin, you know, I, you, you could whip up the soap directly from the tin, but there'd be a lot of spillover. All right, we've got that loaded up. And for the razor today, we're gonna use the Gillette Black Dip. Oh yeah, I can feel this stuff starting to dry. Oh man, my hands. Stuff is super slick. <laughs> super, ah, there we go. Super slick. And I am going to use a Gillette Wilkinson Sword Blade today. A lot of people ask what my favorite blade is, and right now that's my go-to blade. Very mild blade. Although I'm using a very mild razor, so I probably should have used a bit sharper blade in there. Hopefully it doesn't nick me. All right, I'm gonna lock that in there. Man, gotta wipe that, there we go. And this actually, I'll put the specs on what this razor is, what year this razor is inside the video. Okay. Got the bore brush here. Oh, black cherry. Yeah, so those, those face, those uh, systems, you know, those men's grooming systems are really awesome. I mean, if you use that stuff, you know, it's like, that's what the uh, celebrities use. They have a... Uh... I'll add a little bit too much water in there. A little bit too much water. I mean, they're, they've got all that products and, you know, I just want a good face wash, a good shave, and a good, a good aftershave. So you might not be interested in all of the uh, Teague Handling products, but uh, you might want to take a look at some of them. And again, links to everybody are in this video, as well as the history of that flak bait bomber. And it's still around, it's in a museum. So in my video here, there's a link to the, uh, there's a YouTube link, so you can actually see it. It's nice to see a guy narrating, and uh, here's a picture of it. Nice to see a guy narrating. And uh, there we go. I'm going to get, I had too much water on that. Way too much water. Ah, there we go. Much better. Much better. And seeing that the bomber is still around. Because I've been to the Smithsonian, Washington, D.C., and seen some of the bombers, seen the German V 2 rockets. And uh, it's just impressive to see those planes up close and personal. I think they got a Spitfire there. I know I've seen a Spitfire in one of the museums in England when I was there. All right. It's gliding right now. So I don't know if it's that soap or if it's the pre-wash and the soap. But it is gliding really well, which is nice. Yeah, I shouldn't have had so much water in that. I'll do a second pass and I'll use a little less water. Well, what a mild razor. I'll put the year right here. And that's what year it is. I'm gonna catch that in the edit. I'm going to 
pause this for a second. God, that goes on for, for a while. And I told you why he doesn't like the mailman, right? Did I tell you that story? He's a Brittany Spaniel. And uh, his older brother, Nelson. I name all my dogs after British war heroes. Nelson. Uh, he was uh, getting pretty old, so we wanted to get some company. So we got Monty, named after Montgomery. And uh, Nelson, when he was younger... We, I had him chained up out front. Chained up. I mean, on the grass. He couldn't get near the mailman in the driveway. The mailman came up. Nelson started barking. The mailman shot him with mace. Well, that pissed that dog off. And then every time a mailman would come, they ended up getting rid of that mailman. They uh, put him on a different route. And then every time a mailman would come, Nelson would start barking, and then Monty, you know, being a pup, learned from his older brother. Now we have the ritual. So Amazon, UPS. Nice. And I do not think I got a nick. Nice, 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 nice. All right. I got soap on my tattoo and on my chest. neutral smelling no burn man very calming all right all right so before I put the uh, Rinse off the soap a bit. And then let it dry before I put the lid on it. Get all the... Uh... Just going to set the lid on it and not seal it and set it to the side. My son comes in here and uses the uh, shower and sometimes he buffaloes right through here and knocks everything down. So I will clean that. But we'll put back on the Magnum P.I. Halloween costume. I'd rather, I think I'm going to sit out there as Magnum P.I. if we're handing out candy. I don't want to wear that stupid mask. Although it's popular again with the, uh, the movie that's out, which I saw and I liked, the new Halloween. I saw it, I liked it. Eternity now. I went and looked at that Sauvage. Uh, one Johnny Depp, I think it's Dior, sells it. And Johnny Depp advertises in the advertisement. And it actually uh, smelled really good. But man, that crap's spendy. And a burn. So that was all neutral. Except for the, uh, the soap, which was a very strong black cherry smell. But uh, now I'm just going to smell like that. So when my wife comes home, hopefully she's happy. Happy Halloween, everybody. 2018. And uh, gosh, next thing you know, Veterans Day, Thanksgiving, Christmas. We'll see what happens. It's got to slow it down. 
All right, man. Great uh, shaving in the den with you again, and I look forward to doing another video real soon. Till next time, it's Ken Surf saying have a great night, and again, happy Halloween.